Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And as you can see, that's where we left part one of the video series on my little accident. A uh, bit of a warning, there are going to be some scenes of excessive gore, blood, guts and everything else, including literally the inside of me. So if you're going to be put off your tea by that sort of thing, don't watch this and then feel like complaining. Turn off now. Before we kick off with the medical scans, here's the approximate route the helicopter would have taken, which obviously is a bit more direct and speedier than one of the equivalent road routes. If you're still with me, we're going to have a look at what happened to me in hospital. Uh, four and a half weeks I was uh, cooped up in Coventry and uh, yeah, things are a bit interesting after week three to be honest. But anyway, let's start with the scans that I had when I arrived in accident in emergency. Around about 12.30 I was in a CT scan. So let's have a look at what happened there and what they found. CT scans are great. It's basically a series of x-rays taken through your body to build up a set of slices that can then be used for all sorts of imaging from all sorts of different angles. We're going to go through mine here. Unfortunately the right arm does disappear off the edge of this particular series of images that I've turned into a film and uh, you don't actually get to see my broken right arm in it, although you will get to see my broken right leg. The hip injury isn't picked up that well in this image to my untrained eye but the break in the femur is massively obvious um, and they weren't only looking for this because that would have been a very clear injury to anybody but uh, any other internal injuries that I had and a CT scan does actually let the uh, hospital staff know uh, what to look for if there's any areas of concern. I also had an ultrasound on my abdomen which is a bit unusual because I didn't think I was pregnant and it turns out indeed I wasn't. As you can see the inside of my body was a little bit of a mess. The CT scan and various other bits of prodding and poking found that I'd got a broken arm two breaks in the femur, one of which was compound, which means it's come up through the skin, that was the main one in the mid femur, and a couple of ribs. So uh, on Monday morning I had an appointment in theatre, not to see a pantomime unfortunately, or better still Rocky Horror Show, it was to put me back together. I had two teams working on me, one on the arm, one on the leg, and Mr MacArthur, who I will be forever indebted to for putting the scaffolding in, um, said there was a lot of sexual swear words while they were putting my leg back together because every time they lined up one break the other one would move. The gentleman who put my arm back, or led the surgical team that put my arm back together said that it was quite a difficult break because it was straight across the bone so they hadn't got any reference points so they had to do you know, their best which is a lot better than it would have been years ago or a lot better than I could do to line up a perfectly broken bone and uh, put a bit of scaffolding in. Let's have a look now at some of the pictures of uh, <laughs> what they did to get the metal work in and the uh, x-rays as well from theatre. Here we have my femur and you can see there's an upper break in the what they call the neck of the femur which is why there's a bolt going up in towards my hip and the main shaft running down uh, stitches together the mid femoral break and you can see there's a large amount of bone broken off around it and a couple of screws securing it at the bottom. Uh, not all of this didn't fit on one x-ray unfortunately so that's why there's two here. When it comes to the arm the break is actually just below the fourth screw down from the top. Quite a large plate I can actually feel it and to much of the disgust of small children let them feel the bump where the plate is placed over the bone and looking end on you can actually see the heads of the bolts or fixings going into the bone with a large plate attached. I'm not sure if these are screwed in or nailed in looking at them but uh, however they did it, it works. I did warn you that it was going to get gory. My leg is filleted from above the waist down to the knee. Um, there's still quite a scar there now. My arm, the scar on there is still very, very obvious. But everything works. It hurts, my leg's in continual pain, but it still works, which is a good thing. I could so easily have ended up 
with a missing arm or leg or both in a wheelchair or in a box after the accident. So I do count it as a bit of a win that I'm still riding. Three weeks into my recovery in hospital and undergoing physio on the Friday morning, I suddenly got an extremely sharp pain below my right knee. Um, it hadn't been a problem till then, so I was, um, it was at the end of the physio session, so I was chucked back in the wheelchair, chucked back in bed, and uh, I did remark that I was in an awful lot of pain. So I was reassessed, and I said, yeah, how painful is it? And I said, well, at the moment I'm on morphine, and it's about a seven, laying at the side of the road with my leg broken, and no painkillers was a 10. It was really painful. So the surgical team assessed me and sent me for an MRI on the Monday saying keep your weight off it over the weekend, we need to have a look at this. MRI goes ahead, um, I had to be put in a lower um, magnetic field machine, uh, 1.5 instead of 3 Tesla because of the metal work in my body. There are obvious implications with metal in a strong magnetic field. So we can have another quick tour through bits of me, just my knee this time and we'll stop at the relevant point. So here we go through my knee and uh oh, tibial plateau fracture. The surgeons after seeing this told me, no more physio for you Sonny, we're going to look at operating again. So that was the Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning on their rounds, get back on with your uh, physio, we're not going to operate because the bones already started to healing, they'd reviewed it. I did jokingly say to Mr MacArthur, did you bang the femoral nail in so far it went all the way through? And uh, he did look a bit shocked. I did have to explain, I was only joking and that's my sense of humour. Um, I don't know if he thought I was really going to suggest that's what they did to me. Hey, if I did, so what? It still works. And it's a lot better than it would have been if they hadn't have operated on me. But to round off this episode, after four and a half weeks, I was uh, finally let out of hospital. Um, sent back home after I'd shown that I would be able to get upstairs on my own. Of course, an orthopaedics ward, there's a lot of elderly people there who've gone over and broken their hips and uh, are going to be less steady on their feet than a young, sprightly 47 year old's going to be. Getting back home, I uh, made sure I could get about a bit just in case I needed any help from any neighbours. Then uh, it was off to bed uh, fairly early to. Uh, get a bit of kit and then start dealing with other things which are going to be dealt with in the next few films. I'll be going through the medical appointments, the dealings I had with the police because there was a prosecution involved in this case and the endless, endless paperwork to deal with the insurance. I might save that one till last because I still do get my blood pressure raised quite a lot about that one because of some things that happened. Uh, thefts from the wrecked bike and a few other bits and pieces but we'll get on to that in due course. So if you missed part one it'll be up here somewhere and uh, there's a playlist up here with some uh, more fun videos on than uh, the little doom and gloom that, I'm get that I've given you and of course there's going to be the uh, subscribe and something else over here so uh, have a look through the rest of the videos, most of which are a lot better than this one when it comes to actually fun bits of riding, kit reviews and the like. Anyway, I'll see you in part three.